So you'll probably know that when you try and load a world that was made before 21W06A, which is the latest snapshot for 1.17 as of time of recording, it doesn't let you join. How do I explain the fact that this world was created in 1.16 but is now running in 21W06A? Well don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I just want to mention I am not responsible for any of your worlds going wrong. If you follow this tutorial exactly as I show you, nothing should go wrong. So if anything goes wrong, just make sure you've made plenty of backups before doing anything. I am not responsible for any of your Minecraft worlds going missing. So in order for this to work, you're going to need to download the Universal Minecraft Editor. If you need a tutorial, I'll put one in the description below on how to install this, but pretty much just click download for free and then you'll see it's going to take you to this page where it's going to tell you what to do click the install button run the installer and then install universal minecraft editor so in this case i'm probably going to use the quiz live again even though i've already got it here we're going to be using this one and you'll see it says loading of old worlds is temporarily disabled so how do we sort that well we're going to, want to open up the universal minecraft editor and it's going to look like this we're playing on a java edition and initially it might ask you to show your minecraft world saves if it does click this little icon down here and just select your minecraft folder and what you should probably do also is make a backup so let's do that you want to type in into your start menu percent app data percent like so and then just open up dot minecraft go to your saves folder and then find the world that you want to make a change to so i'm going to do the quiz live and new studio and i'm going to right click copy right click paste and then we've got this world. i'm going to call it this is tql in 117 so now that we've got that world this is still a 1.16 world so we can close this and what we're going to do is we're going to close this window reopen it and as you can see we should be able to find this is tql in 1.17 we're going to click on this and we're going to press the open button and then it's going to load up this nothing should appear here at the moment that's okay click on world settings and go to your version it should say three entities all you want to do is change this from snapshot from zero to one change the id to a specific number and that number is two six nine four this is the id for 21w06a in name change 1.16.5 to 21w06a believe it or not that is it just make sure you press enter snapshot set to one ID set to 2694 and name set to 21W06A. Now all you need to do is do this, press the save icon, make sure you're using the right world before making any changes. Save that. You can now close this and then what you should see is when you press cancel and go to single player, you should now have two worlds. You should have this is TQL or whatever you named it, and you should have your world still saved in 1.16. When we load this, things will be very laggy because you are loading a 1.16 world in 1.17 generation. But once it's loads, you will be in the brand new Minecraft 1.17 snapshot and you have access to all of the new stuff, for example, moss, all that sort of stuff that you would possibly need for your Minecraft 1.17 adventures. And why would you want to do this? Well, you see, the reason you want to do this is in case you want to try out some things in a pre-existing world before 1.17 actually releases and as you can see you are going to be getting a few lag spikes that's because as you're walking around the game is trying to figure out if the certain chunk that's are loading is a 1.16 or a 1.17 chunk now i'm going to fly over this way and i'm going to show you what happens when you reach the end of your 1.16 chunks keep in mind this is a super flat preset world so things are a little bit different to normal super flat worlds in the sense that we are here on y equals 64 this is the end of our 1.16 generation now what happens on this preset as you might have just seen is we get uh, this we, we get generation that starts at zero so we have bedrock this is the normal world height and this is 1.17 and because of our preset we haven't actually got any of the new caves but this just goes all the way down and cave generation is still going so we've got the stone we've got everything no bedrock just stone so just be aware but although this will let you play your minecraft worlds in 1.17 this is not a fix this is not something that's going to be permanent and it's not something that i recommend unless you make a backup also this is very very laggy so just be aware of that as well and luckily i have a command that should uh oh i don't have a command i'm just gonna have to guess where i need to go i believe the studio is this way i mean to be fair i could probably just try this hang on uh it crashed oh no um um are we oh no it's crashed as i say folks this is extremely experiment oh we're back extremely extremely experimental um it is a snapshot so please expect bugs and please 
please make backups before you do anything. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it with the Universal Minecraft Editor. As I say, all you need to do is load up your world in there, make a backup first, of course, using the backed up world or the original, depending on which one you want to do, so long as you have a backup of some sort. All you got to do is change the version MBT data and change the version to 21W. 06a or the snapshot name you will also need to change the numbers to the, i'll leave the numbers in the description and you'll also need to change snapshots from zero to one now one thing i will need to mention is that version id that id the, the long number thingy that won't be the same for all minecraft versions as you probably noticed it's different for 116 it's different for the latest snapshot if you want to know what that is create a world in the snapshot first and then load it up in the universal minecraft editor and then just click on the version and have a look at what the ideas and then just copy and paste that into your brand new world and there you go you are using your world in 1.17 and you can do all sort of things like this you can have lush caves i mean come on who, who doesn't want this? this this is so much better than what it used to be if you haven't seen my video on me transforming these i'll leave that at the end of this one but for now folks that's all if you have any more questions let me know in the comments and i'll try to answer as many as possible but yeah thank you so much for watching folks my name's been happy and this has been a tutorial on how to play 1.16 worlds in the latest snapshot to get around you know uh it's been disabled no it hasn't bye bye everybody subscribe if you enjoyed